Coming up on the Globe Sports Corner, a check-in on the Maple Leaf baseball season, Tanner Camp talks with Jacob Gerber about his performance at the Indoor Championship, and Sienna Emery gives a retrospective on her All-American performance. All that is coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Welcome to another episode of the Globe Sports Corner. I'm Zachariah Begley. The Goshen College baseball team just had their conference home opener against Taylor. Benjamin Cotton spoke with the team on how opening the season strong is so important. The Goshen College baseball team opened their conference season at home versus Taylor University in a three-game series. In game one on Friday, the Maple Leafs fell in defeat, but on Saturday it was a whole new ball club as the Maple Leafs won both games at the doubleheader. Assistant coach Doug Wellenreiter talked about the difference of the two days. Well, first of all, it starts with pitching on the mound. Our pitching on Saturday was very good. It starts with pitching, and uh, that's one of our strengths. It should be one of our strengths, and that's where it starts. Uh, Braden Devins threw six good innings uh, for us. Um, Colton pitched well in the second game uh, on Saturday. So that's where it starts. And then we also had some key hits. We had some key two-out hits, uh, two-out hitting situations, and we banged out, I think, 23 hits, uh, which is something that was great to see. We hit up and down the lineup. And that's got to be a strength for us, too, if we're going to compete and stay at the top of the Crossroads League. Senior Braden Evans adds input about making big plays at the right time. Um, so the difference between that I could see was 100% uh, throwing some strikes from the pitcher standpoint and uh, being able to actually get bats on the balls in key spots and have that big inning that on Saturday that we couldn't get on Friday. Evans also talks about how strength of schedule has built a resilient team. Uh, resilience is definitely a lot stronger on this team. I feel like we've played a lot uh, a lot better competition in preseason and things like that, and that kind of just got us ready to face the teams in the Crossroads League and just dominate, hopefully. Both Evans and Willenreiter address how the spring break trip teed off the Maple Leafs in the right direction. Uh, this year, especially, we've faced a lot of uh, adversity in the teams we play and we've had to face adversity ourselves and uh, spring break was a completely humbling experience losing a lot of games over that time so I think it kind of just got us ready to bounce back from Friday to Saturday and just made us even more hungry for those games on Saturday. It's no secret we struggled on our spring trip. We were very disappointed with our spring trip and the results of our spring trip. Uh, you know, people want to use the excuse, well, you haven't been outside but a couple times. The other teams have played 15 games. But with the number of players that we have coming back uh, on a team this year, that's an excuse, and we don't accept excuses. And uh, we just simply didn't play well. And uh, I think that, you know, there was a meeting of the minds among some of our players and that, that uh, this has got to come together. And, uh, and I think that uh, happens. And obviously, winning always builds confidence when you win. Uh, you lose, you learn lessons when you lose, but uh, uh, when you win, it tends to build a little bit more confidence, especially when you do it against a good team like Taylor. The Maple Leafs are currently 7-1 in the regular season, but are 2-1 in the Crossroads League, which is second in the standings. The next game for the Maple Leafs will be at home versus Huntington University. For Globe Sports, I'm Benjamin Cotton. The team will be at home on Friday and Saturday as they take on Huntington University. When we return, Tanner Camp will be with Jacob Gerber to talk about his performance at the Indoor National Championship. All that on the Globe Sports Corner. I'm getting my degree from the college named TV School of the Year three out of the last four years. It's not in months you're in Indianapolis. I attend Goshen College, and communication is just one of the 35 outstanding majors offered here. At GC, you will work with professionals and get your hands on the camera in your first semester on campus. How do I know that Goshen College was the best choice? Right after graduation, I start my first job, broadcasting professional baseball. Take the next step towards your career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. I'm Tanner Camp, and to my left, I'm with Jacob Gerber, junior thrower for the Goshen College track and field team. Jacob, thank you for coming back down to the studio. Thanks for having me. So the last time that you were on the show, you had qualified for the yes. NAIA Indoor Championships. Since then, and then going into the meet last week, what have you done to kind of prepare yourself for that meet? Um, since I qualified, it's been re-breaking down technique. So the technique is fairly complicated, and you get into ruts with it. So one thing I had to do was re was break it down and then get out of some bad habits I had. And once I did that, I felt a lot more confident going into the meet. So, 
So then, you know, when you train for a meet, normally it's like, it's like you know, the conference championships or another meet if it's like an IWU or Taylor. But, uh, you know, this is a, an out indoor, you know, national mm -hmm. meet. Was there anything in particular that you kind of was telling yourself or really focused on when uh, training for the indoor national championship? So the biggest thing I told myself was just, just stay calm. Because I knew a lot of the guys that were going in there, into that competition were going to psych themselves up and then psych themselves out. And if you do that, you're never going to throw far. So going into it, I was more relaxed than I've been for any other meet. And that was, I think, what helped the most going into it. So, so then not you did very well. Not only did you break your own personal record like you had wanted to, you also broke the school record and you finished 10th place. Very impressive. Yep. Uh, what were your initial thoughts after the meet itself uh, and just your performance overall? So immediately after I threw, there's like five seconds before you get the measurement. And I'm, I was sitting there going, come on, it has to be it. Because I've been going for the record for all season pretty much. And I've been close, but I just haven't found that one throw that I needed yet. So I was sitting there like, that has to be it. And if it's not it, I'm going to be really sad. And then once they called, I'm like, it was just a massive relief to be able to say I finally got something that I wanted. So. so then you had kind of talked about also, you know, you just went just outside of making it to, uh, you know, to yep. the final throws and then also from All-American status. But uh, even with all that, how would you say your, the overall experience was, you know, being an indoor championship and then just, you know, having been at that level um, with some of the best throwers in the country? It's always awesome to compete with some of the best guys. I mean, you see people either rise to the occasion or not, and it's really pushing yourself to be the best that you can be and push yourself as far as you can without really messing up. So, And then so we talked about this in uh, the last time that we talked to each other, but, um, you know, indoor season's now over, so now it's time for outdoor season. I know you're looking forward to that. Yes. So how will this performance and then just the meet in general how is that going to motivate you and your performance uh, as you enter your uh, outdoor season here soon? Well, I really like outdoor season instead of indoor. It's just more fun for me. So having that momentum going into it, it makes the practices less of a drag. It's more, I can do this. I, I did it at indoor. I can do it in outdoor. It's not exactly the same form, not exactly the same event, but it's I have that, mom that momentum of I can do this now. I, you kind of believe in yourself after a meet like that. So. And then finally, uh, are there any goals that you're trying to go for? You know, you're only a junior, so you'll still have next year for both indoor yeah. outdoor. Are there any goals for this upcoming outdoor season that you want to try to accomplish? Um, going back to nationals for outdoor is priority number one. And then after that, we move on to the goal of let's make finals, let's go All-American, and then we'll see about a school record in Hammer as well. So... Well, Jacob, we look forward to seeing uh, you throughout the outdoor season. Congratulations again on your performance in the indoor championship, and best of luck in the outdoor season. Thank you. When we return, I will be with Sienna Emery to talk about her performance in South Dakota. That's coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. I work for the best college radio station in the nation. It's not New York City or Chicago. It's Goshen College. Our broadcasting program is just one of Goshen's 35 outstanding majors. At Goshen College, you will work one-on-one -on -one with top professionals and get studio time in your first semester. You can call a game from the playing field or broadcast from a downtown radio studio. How do I know Goshen was the best choice? Right after graduation, I'll start my new job as a radio morning show co-host. Take the next step in your broadcasting career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. To my left, I'm with Sienna Emery, senior race walker for the track and field team. Sienna, thank you for coming down to the studio. Thank you for having me. So you qualified for the indoor championship back in January, which mm -hmm. was one of your goals. Uh, how did it feel, or how did the training go then to prepare for that meet just a couple weeks ago? Yeah, um, we actually we did a lot of um, just running workouts and getting the... Um, aerobic base back up after I missed the cross country season. Um, and yeah, and then we worked on technique stuff uh, and we ha did have a, a meet uh, about halfway between those two. So um, going into the meet, I definitely was feeling a lot more fit than I had been, so that was good. And then you obviously performed very well at the meet. You mm -hmm. finished fourth place and earned all American mm -hmm. honors. Big congratulations Thank you. again for that. So how did it feel, you know, you competed in the race walk. Afterwards, once you finished and it was done, what were your initial thoughts once the race was over? 
I was really happy when the race finished because um, I had achieved like a 27 second PR and that was the first national race that I'd been to where I really felt um, uh, happy with the, the time performance and the race itself had gone really well. I was right on splits the whole time. Um, so it was definitely a good confidence boost after that and um, beating my seed time was really good. Um, yeah, but so I, I was just happy right after for sure. And then you also broke your personal record, which mm -hmm. I know was another goal that you had had coming in to this race. Mm -hmm. So as you kind of look back on your four-year career for the indoor season at least, uh, what are your just thoughts about it? You know, was it a good experience? Like just kind of sum up your four-year indoor career. Yeah, I mean, there were definitely struggles. I, especially for the first, really the first two and a half years, I had a lot of um, injuries and, uh, you know, working through different problems that I didn't anticipate coming up. Um, so it was a really nice way to cap off, uh, finally kind of breaking a barrier there. Um, but I mean, I've really appreciated all the opportunities that it's given me for sure. So then, you know, with you, there's also, you know, Haley Bickford mm -hmm. who will be competing and is also race walking. Mm -hmm. So what are your thoughts on her and how do you think she's going to perform as uh, her time comes for the indoor race walking season? I mean, I think that she, um, is just going to continue to improve. Um, she had a season PR, uh, at nationals and I, she's been working through injuries for the last year or so. Um, so I think that she'll have a, she'll have a breakthrough maybe in the next year or so. so. And then finally, even with the indoor season being over, you still got outdoor season mm -hmm. left. No, you're looking forward to that. Yeah. As, as you kind of think about it, you know, after outdoor season, you know, that's also your final season of mm -hmm. track and field in general. What are kind of your goals that you're going to have going into that final outdoor season? Um, I really want to have a strong outdoor season. Um, historically, I've been more comfortable with the 3K distance and outdoor to 5K. But I really, you know, I'm feeling positive going into it. I am, a big goal would be to go for Abby Dunn's record, school record in the 5K uh, race walk. But um, yeah, I mean, I really just want to have a, a successful outdoor season to kind of end my track career with a bang. <laughs> well, Siona, once again, thank you so much mm -hmm. for coming down to the studio and congratulations and best of luck in the outdoor season. Thank you. When we come back, Zachariah is going to have a look at your Maple Leafs in action this week. That's up next on the Globe Sports Corner. Back on the Globe Sports Corner, time to look at the Maple Leaf schedule for the week. The baseball team will be home on Friday and Saturday, taking on Huntington University. They will be then on the road on Sunday as they play Bluffton University. The softball team is at home on Friday against Indiana Wesleyan, then hit the road on Saturday to take on Mount Vernon Nazarene University. Finally, the men's volleyball team will be competing in the Siena Heights Invitational on Friday and Saturday. That's going to wrap up this episode of the Globe Sports Corner. Be sure to check us out on our social media at 91.1 The Globe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at 91.1 The Globe and visit our website at globeradio.org. See you next time. This is the Globe Sports Corner.